Life in the animal kingdom can be very unfair, unless, of course, you're a cat or a dog. Go into a pet store and there are aisles of toys for your little mittens or Fido. But let's face it, for some reason, the bigger the animal, the less fun we humans think that animal needs to have. Well, luckily, all of that is changing. At least that's the goal! Here's Allie Ward. Horses are the image of beauty and strength. But because they're so stoic, they may also be misunderstood. For example, when was the last time you saw a horse play? Really play, like this? I'll guess, never. In fact, not only do horses love to play, but just like your dog or cat, play is extremely important to a horse's emotional and physical well-being. But until recently, there were no durable horse play toys on the market. So Lisa Ross Williams and her husband Kenny invented what they call the Equispirit Ball. I made my way to Prescott, Arizona to find out more about Lisa and Kenny's simple yet spirited innovation. You guys, this is gonna be a ball, am I right? Owners of eight horses and one donkey, Lisa and Kenny say the story of the ball began about 15 years ago, when one of their horses, Riley, was just a baby. Riley was an orphan foal that we saved from auction. He was about a week old and almost died. And after we realized that he was not going to die, we needed to get him moving. He needed to start using those muscles and learn how to use his body. And so we started giving him toys, but he would break them in 30 seconds, maybe a minute. It was Riley's drive in how much he loved to play and how much he loved a ball that showed us that we needed to find something that would not just allow him to be able to play a little bit, but really be able to, to go after it. And as Riley's health improved, the incentive to make a toy durable enough for him to play with became stronger. The ball had to be tough enough for horses to kick it, and bite it and sit on it. What was it like when you got kind of the first prototype back that really you realized this is gonna work? What was that feeling like? Bye, George, <laughs> we're on to something. <laughs> Once we realized that there was a need mm -hmm. and then we were meeting that durability issue that we needed, I said, this is getting pretty exciting. <laughs> that was Who knew? A great day for Who you guys? knew? That's for sure. <laughs> The balls, which are made in Phoenix, Arizona, are sized so that horses won't trip over them at 40 inches and 25 inches. Oh, Riley. Ask Kenny and Lisa what horses mean to them, and you'll understand that love is what drives their innovation. Horses are very honest. They're very true. They accept you as long as you're respectful to them, then they give you unconditional love. The ball actually becomes kind of their best friend. And I, I get a little emotional on that. The one horse that loves his ball so much that he literally takes it when he goes to get a drink of water or when he, he goes to lay down. It's his buddy. Can I try? Uh -huh. I decided that before I hit the dusty trail for home, I wanted to see what it was like to walk in Riley's horse shoes. So like with a lot of innovations, I'm really, really kind of wanting to test this just to see how it works in the field. So, Riley, can I, can I play with your toy? Is that cool? Yeah, he said yes. Okay, here. <laughs> <laughs> it was right about here that I realized this might hurt a little. Uh, all right, I'm good. I'm good, everyone, I'm fine. But I also realized, yes, this is fun and that with imagination, a familiar object can be reinvented and keep on rolling with a brand new lease on life.